Hello everyone, Lady Phoenix here, and welcome to my very first Let's Play of 2023 of uh, Final Fantasy IV, the 3D remake on the PC. I am a little bit nervous about doing this Let's Play because they have changed a lot between the 2D and 3D versions of this particular game. It's been re-released several times, but I'm really, really nervous, but I think I can do it. I, I think I I'm more than capable of getting through the game beginning through from beginning to end but it's the extra content stuff that i'm more concerned about so we're not going to worry about it for now for now we are just going to go ahead and click on new game and i will be going through this on normal uh i actually just beat this game maybe about 45 minutes ago on the hard difficulty uh so for this particular run this is going to be on normal also this is going to be the first playthrough i'm gonna so everything is going to be fresh this is going to be like you putting in your ds cartridge or you booting up the game on steam for the very first time uh minus getting the achievements as you go along in the game so i just wanted to clarify that before we get started uh for now uh just enjoy the opening scene Captain, we're nearly to the Baron border. So we are. It troubles him, too. Orders may be orders, but this, this goes too far. Lord Captain! We are the Red Wings, the pride of Baron. Must we now be thieves sent to plunder from the weak? Enough. But Lord Captain, the Mycidians offer no resistance, and still we cut them down. Listen to me. We did no more than what our kingdom's peace and prosperity required us to do. The Mycidians knew too much of the crystal and its secrets. His Majesty deemed it so. We are the Red Wings of Baron. It is not our place to question the orders of our king. Lord Captain. Lord Captain! Monsters of the Boar! Alright, so this is pretty much a basic run-of-the-mill uh, battle. Um, with the ATB being back and everything now. I do like the fact with the um, 3D remake that they have changed the game quite drastically, in my opinion, uh, to be honest with you. Um, especially this particular version, because this does mimic the uh, DS version. So this is much harder because, well, for one, it has a hard mode. And for two, if you want to go for everything in this game, it's not going to only cost you a lot of grinding. But augments as well. With all these monsters as of late, disturbing is it not? I wonder what it bodes. We've reached the castle, my lord. Well then, prepare for landing, men. So, yeah, so I, I'm very, very nervous to, like, if this was just a standard, like, the 2D version, more specifically, like, the SNES version, oh, I wouldn't be this nervous to LP this game, because back when I had my old channel, I did indeed do this game, and it didn't have none of the extras that it does now, and I really do want to show off the two super bosses of this game. Now, unfortunately, that's going to require at, l at least bare minimum two playthroughs of this game. Uh, I have in good faith that it's possible that I can do it, but I can tell you guys right now, just to alleviate the pressure off of me, 
uh the super bosses videos won't happen until probably well after let's play is done for now i just want to be able to get every augment that i possibly can in the first playthrough and then what i will do is i will edit in the other augments that i won't be able to get in the first playthrough and the second playthrough um as kind of like the bonus video uh once i take on the super bosses or if i don't take on the super bosses for whatever reason i can't seem to do it for whatever reason i will at least edit where you can get the rest of the augments at as well as the secret summons and i'm not talking about the side quest summons i'm talking about summons that you get from items there's four in particular and they're they're rare drop rates very rare i'm talking 0 0.4 percent yeah uh square enix is uh I would have respected them if they look, at least put it at five, but no, not even a full percent. <laughs> and this is our main character, Cecil. He's a dark knight and he's like, yo, this ain't right. What we just did and look at his king eyes. Look at those eyes. I wouldn't put good faith in a man with eyes like that either. I would have questions. <laughs> And don't worry, this this is not an audio thing. That like the music is supposed to just go dead. <laughs> and that's another thing that I don't like about the PC version. For some reason, I can't show you guys the opening scene because this the scene itself goes just fine, but the music is incredibly choppy, like beyond choppy. Oh damn! Just like that, we just got fired, y'all. Hey. Day two of the year, we already got fired. That's messed up. Why can't you just say tomorrow morning why you have to speak in Shakespearean, sir? Oh, Kane, buddy. How you doing? Kane is my favorite class of Final Fantasy, a Dragoon. And it, it always looks crazy to me because like, I keep forgetting that blonde patch that's hanging from his helmet is actually his hair. Because <laughs> back when I played this game many, many times on the SNES, you can't really see his blonde hair. I don't, I don't, as a matter of fact, no, you can't see his blonde hair at all. So in the earlier, except for the end scene, but so in the modern versions of this game, it's like, oh yeah, he does have blonde hair. <laughs> now, I think this is called a bomb ring in other translations. There's multiple translations of this. Carnelian signet. That's definitely sound more friendly than bomb ring. <laughs> or I think it was like bomb ring or ruby ring, or it could have been both. But I'm pretty sure one translation was bomb ring. Now, more, he more like just walked in on the conversation, so I wouldn't even say sorry. If you say so. Oh yeah, I just slaughtered a whole bunch of people for no reason. Oh, now we in control of Cecil. Yay. We can talk, talk and move around freely. Uh, hey, Kane. Hey, buddy. If you talk to him, I think you get an extra scene. They've known each other since they were mere children. They, bro they both grew up in the walls of within this castle. Got a conscious, man. Yeah, definitely. You ain't see them eyes, bro. <laughs> Did you not see them eyes? Well, you know. He can jump, they can jump really high. All Dragoons can for some mysterious reason. They all have the ability to jump very, very, very high.
very high. Mind you, they're they're humans. <laughs> but I never understood that. It's cool. Don't get me wrong, it's cool. Especially when they use the actual jump command. They jump up in the air and then they come right down and it makes a big old explosion like like that's great. I love it. But that's not realistic at all. <laughs> No, 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 we gonna help you. We gonna help you. We gonna help you fight that thing. And here you go, early on tomorrow. Come on now. Just say tomorrow morning. Like, that's so much easier. Yeah. But I'm I'm kinda demoted. Like I kinda got fired from that position. So, um Yeah, we just 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 find someone else to, you know, you know look up to and be buddy buddy with and cool because I, I didn't I didn't got fired y'all oh well crap that's not where I meant to go so yeah I, my sense of direction is already screwed <laughs> I, I can't c come in here okay I was about to say I, I can just freely I know I just got demoted and all but yeah also this game is very 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 stingy when it comes to um m money in this game uh so i mean it's not terrible but i mean it's not great either oh okay cool if you tune in uh yeah we won't be able to get that for quite some time and this is where the engineers are at this is the the east side of the castle. Hey, buddy. Oh, okay. Alright, then, cool. Well, so, in order to advance the story, we have to go to the west side, which is the left. And I, I'm going to try to refrain from doing that, because I always get west and east mixed up. So when a lot of Let's Players be like, and then we're going to head to the west, so it's like, so I'm just thinking in my head, like, okay, is that left or right? <laughs> like, I, and then I think about it from Patrick from SpongeBob. Weast, left, right, left, yeah, yeah, left, west, yeah. <laughs> That's how I process things. <laughs> but this is Rosa, the pretty lady of Rosa. Rosa is actually the first white mage that I actually liked in Final Fantasy games. Then again, she's my first experience with a white mage. Well, no, that's technically not true because I did play the uh, uh, Final Fantasy 1 Dawns of Souls version. And you can get a white mage in that game if you so choose. I, I, guess, Rosa, I guess you could say Rosa was the first white mage with some sort of personality that I really like but although I must say my favorite white mage would have to go to Yuna it would definitely have to go to Yuna we're gonna ignore that door over there to the left that I just completely ignored so we get into introductions to a lot of characters and this is uh this is the final <laughs> this is the final fantasy 4 version Sid uh <laughs> I'm laughing because it was a meme that I seen on Twitter about a day or two ago and it was like so you're a Final Fantasy fan and the girl was like yeah and the guy was like name 10 characters and then the lady was like Sid and the dude was like you know what that's my fault I set the bar too low because <laughs> there's pretty much a Sid in et for most of the main Final Fantasy games there there is a Sid <laughs> Some of the sins are even bad. <laughs> I know with the upcoming Final Fantasy 16, there is a Sid, and his actual name is kind of ludicrous to me. I think his name is like Sidolophus, Sidolophus, Sidol, Sidol, Sidol something. And I was like, what the? It's going to be an interesting pronunciation to hear in the game. <laughs> but Sid is in charge of the engineering. Um, mainly the airships he's the one that designed and built the airships that the red wings use and now he's kind of losing his uh office rocker kind of pissed off at the king because he's like hey man 
I, I built these for travel, not for you to go up here and rage roar and raise all types of hell on the world. Now, what what are we doing here? This guy here. This guy is going to be very important in this game. For right now, his name is Namingway. And yes, he's cute and he's adorable, but uh, he definitely um, plays a part because he gives you a very, if you complete his side quest all the way, he gives you a very important uh, augment safe travel which it explains you it's a no encounter so we can't really change our name no matter what if if and if i type anything on the keyboard which i'm not gonna by the way so i'm just gonna hit accept no i can't change my name it's actual voice acting in this game so no i can't change it <laughs> okay okay where are you going buddy Okay, but yeah, you're you're gonna get get used to seeing that character. Again with the on the morrow thing. Can't we just say in the morning? What is this? This is my bed chamber. I got me a nice little desk and some swords and more swords and yeah I, I'm definitely prepared for a fight your majesty what's become of you where is the noble knight the man who took me in as an orphan and raised me as his own. The strong, just king I once knew. Is a crystal worth all this? Robbing a peaceful people of what's theirs by right. What need could be so great? King's orders or no, there's no forgiving what we've done. Cecil? Won't you tell me what happened? First you're sent off to Mysidia, and now to hunt some beast again so soon? Did something happen in Mysidia? No, it's nothing. Then why won't you look at me? I... in Mysidia we... We stole a crystal from people who had done no wrong. I've worn this darkened armor for so long now. There's no mode of light left in me. Not even in my heart. You're a good man, Cecil. I'm a coward. A coward who cannot even defy orders he knows he ought not follow. Cecil of the Red Wings is many things, but he is no coward. Not the Cecil who I love. The King is sending you to Mist to slay the Eidolon, isn't he? If anything were to happen to you, I couldn't... Cain will be with me. I'll be fine. It's late. You should get some rest. Be careful. Thank you, Rosa. But I know what I've become.
Shall we then, Cecil? I'll be counting on you, my friend. Then you've nothing to fear. That wonderful Final Fantasy fanfare, I never get tired of it. I don't think there's any Final Fantasy fanfare in the main Final Fantasies that's just terrible. I would definitely say that, oh, 12 is up there. 12 and 15, they they definitely did, did the fanfare really, really well, the, the main thing. Um, it, it's just so beautiful. It really is. But after this plays out, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the video here. And in the next video, we are going to actually go explore the town of Baron and pick up a few hidden items there before actually going off to the mist cave that the King of Baron sent us off to. Um, so yeah. If you would like to see more Let's Plays or Weekend Walkthroughs from the channel, please be sure to click on the links in the description below. But until then, you guys take care and have an awesome day.